start uh, with the chanting. Let me share the puja sheet for those of you who can't remember the precepts and all. You can uh, see it on your screen now. And let's start. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Namo tasse bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasse. Namo tasse bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasse. Namo tasse bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasse. Buddham saranam gachami, dhammam saranam gachami, sangham saranam gachami, dutiyam ti buddham saranam gachami, Dutiyampi dhammam saranam gachami. Dutiyampi sangham saranam gachami. Tatiyampi buddham saranam gachami. Tatiyampi dhammam saranam gachami. Tatiyampi sangham saranam gachami. Panati pata veramani sikhapadang samadhyami. Adinna dana veramani sikhapadang samadhyami. Kame su micha chara vera mani sikha padang samadhyami. Musa vada vera mani sikha padang samadhyami. Sura meraya maja pama dattana vera mani sikha padang samadhyami. So we have paid our homage to the Triple Gem, the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. Reason is that to show our respect and also gratitude for what we are going to practice, the meditation. And then we chanted the five precepts, that is to keep our morality, as I mentioned, the meanings of these Pali uh, stanzas, so these Pali sentences. Uh, the first one says, I take the precept to abstain from killing. The second one says, I take the precept to abstain from taking that is not given to me. Third one says, I take the precept to abstain from sexual misconduct. Fourth one says, I take the precept to abstain from false speech. And fifth one says, I take the precept to abstain from intoxicants. That is to keep our morality. And next we are going to do a reading. This is called the uh, discourse on loving kindness, uh, the Buddha's discourse on metta or loving kindness. And at the end of uh, the silent meditation session, we will be practicing metta meditation. And this is the discourse of the Buddha on loving kindness. So let us do this reading. The discourse on loving kindness. One who is killed in the good and who wishes to attain that state of calm, Nibbana, should act thus. One should be sincere to oneself, upright and conscientious, of soft speech, gentle and not proud, contented, living simply, peaceful and unburdened, with senses calmed, prudent, modest, and without showing anxiety for support. One should not commit any slight wrong on account of which wise men might censure one. May all beings be happy and secure. May their hearts be wholesome. Whatever living beings they are be, those mentally feeble or strong, physically long, stout or medium, short, small or large, those seen or unseen, dwelling far or near, those who are born and those who are to be born. May all beings without exception be happy-minded. 
let none deceive another nor despise any person whatsoever in any place in anger or ill will let one not wish any harm to another just as a mother would protect her only child at the risk of her own life even so let one cultivate a boundless heart towards all beings let thoughts of infinite love pervade the whole world above below and around without any obstruction without any hatred without any enmity whether standing walking sitting or lying down as long as one is awake this mindfulness should be developed this the wise say is the highest conduct here not embracing false views virtuous and endowed with insight given up attachment to sense desires indeed such a person does not come again for repeated becoming so that is the uh, reading um, of the metta sutta or the discourse on loving kindness preached by the buddha and its translation okay so before we start our meditation as i said i would like to give you some brief introduction and also instructions especially for newcomers uh, those of you who are uh, new to this practice uh, would find this uh, helpful so the basic instructions given to um, newcomers when you decided to practice meditation there are these um, basic needs that you need to fulfill and make sure the first thing is the place where you meditate it has to be a place which is calm and quiet and also a pleasant place so that you can easily and comfortably concentrate on the object of your meditation and you would find uh meditation is easy and comfortable and interesting when you are in a proper place when you are in a comfortable place now in this case i know all of you are staying at home most of you are staying at home and joining us from home so if you regularly practice your meditation be maybe daily basis or weekly or whatever it is good to have your designated a needed place for your meditation uh, wherever you find uh, comfortable at your home so when you um, have this designated place for your meditation it sort of motivates you to practice your meditation so whenever you sit there in your place of meditation you um, have or your mind is uh, uh, prepared for your meditation and you would find it comfortable and also other people also in your household will know that you are practicing meditation so it is um, good for us to make sure that you are not getting uh, much distractions from the uh, um, surrounding area so that is the aim of uh, choosing or selecting a place for your meditation the second thing is the posture the way you keep your body for your meditation it has to be again a comfortable and convenient posture so we are practicing uh, sitting meditation so your sitting posture has to be a comfortable one choose again a comfortable uh, way to sit be it a, a chair or a cushion or whatever it is uh, if you find it easier and comfortable and convenient that is uh, the uh, good or the suitable posture for your meditation do not try to force your body to sit in difficult postures if you have seen uh, statues or paintings that people are sitting in um, lotus posture just like the buddha statue behind me if you can see so do not try to force your body to try those difficult postures just make sure that you are comfortable in your posture whatever it is uh, wherever you are sitting so that again you can easily concentrate on the object of your meditation without having much distractions this this time from your own body when you are sitting in a comfortable convenient posture that is the second thing and the third thing is the type of meditation that you should choose uh, pick for your practice now here as i said we are going to practice the breathing meditation for our first session i will give you once we started the practice 
how to uh, practice or how to do this breathing meditation. And this breathing meditation amongst many different various types of meditations is recommended for everybody. Uh, regardless of you being, uh, being an advanced meditator or a beginner or regardless of your previous experiences or whatever, anybody can practice this breathing meditation and it is recommended for uh, everyone. So that is why we, uh, we practice breathing meditation in our class. And uh, that is the selection of your practice. And the fourth thing is also very important. You will um, experience uh, various problems while you practice your meditation, such as uh, the wandering of your mind. You will notice that your mind is not focusing or concentrating on the object of your meditation, but it goes away and starts wandering. Or you might be disturbed by a sound or a noise that you hear. Or you might be disturbed by a sensation or feeling, maybe itchy feeling from your own body or an, or, or an ache or pain from your own body. So those sorts of things are the problems uh, you may experience in your meditation. So if they happen, do not uh, worry and do not be panicked because they are quite normal. Anybody can, anybody will experience those. So if such a thing happens, just deal with it. Now, for example, if it is your wandering mind or if you notice that your mind is wandering, just know that my mind is wandering now. I should stop wandering and go back to your uh, meditation. So stop wandering and take your mind back onto the object of your meditation and start it again. If you are disturbed by a sound, just know I was disturbed, dis disturbed by the sound. My meditation was disturbed by the sound. Just let go of it. Do not go into detail uh, where it comes from, what it is and so and so forth. Just let go of it and go back. Bring your mind back onto the object and start your practice again. So while you sit, keeping your eyes closed, you can do this, deal with the problem. So in that way, whatever happens, whatever may come in your way, just deal with it and go uh, back to your practice of meditation. You may have to do this again and again at the uh, early stage of your meditation. That's completely fine. So having known these uh, basics, we can now start our first session on silent meditation, on breathing meditation. So let's start. Okay, now gently close your eyes. Keeping your eyes closed. First, relax your body from the top of your head. Relax the muscles on the top of your head. Feel if there is any sensation on the top of your head and relax the muscles on the top of your head. And then move your attention to your forehead and relax your forehead. And then relax your eyebrows and your eyes, keep your eyes gently closed. And relax your cheeks and your chin. Relax the muscles around your neck. And relax 
your shoulders, let them drop. And now relax your chest and your abdomen. Relax your abdomen. And keeping your hands on your lap, right palm on, on the left palm or rest in, them, rest in them on your thighs, relax them. Keep your hands relaxed. And now relax your thighs, your calf muscles, relax them. And relax your feet and your toes. So now your body from the top of your head to your toes is relaxed. Keep your body fully and completely relaxed and keep your eyes gently closed and keep your body straight but not stiff, relaxed. And keeping your body relaxed, now bring your mind to the present moment and onto the object of your meditation, which is your own breath. As you breathe in, you can feel the air goes in through your nostrils. Feel that and bring your mind onto that place, part of your body. And as you feel the air goes in through your nostrils, as you breathe in, in your mind, know I am breathing in. And as you breathe out, you, you will feel the air goes out, comes out through your nostrils, maybe touching the uh, top of your upper lip and feel that and as you feel it, say in your mind, I am breathing out. As you breathe in and as you feel you are breathing in, say in your mind, I am breathing in. As you breathe out, I am breathing out. Bring your mind onto your breath and keep in your mind on your breath. You can now start your practice of meditation. Do not try to force your breath, but observe them in your mind. I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. Keep in your mind on your object, your breath. Continue your meditation on your breath.
If your mind goes away from your object and starts wandering, no, my mind is wandering now. Stop wandering and bring your mind slowly but firmly onto the object, your breath, and start your meditation again.
Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. So this is the end of our silent meditation on breath or breathing meditation. And now we are going to practice meditation on loving kindness, metta meditation. Let's start it now. Again, adjust in your posture if you want. Sit comfortably, keeping your body straight, but not stiff. And gently close your eyes. Keeping your eyes closed and relaxing your body. Bring your mind to the present moment, to your meditation. And in your relaxed mind, generate metta, loving kindness, unconditional love or oh, universal friendliness. Generate loving kindness in your mind. Firstly, radiate your loving kindness towards yourself, wishing your own well-being and happiness. Think of your own well-being and radiate your, your loving kindness thoughts of metta, thoughts of unconditional love towards yourself. Think of your well-being, your happiness, your health. May I be free from anger. May I be free from ill will. May I be free from enmity. May I be well, happy, and peaceful. Just as you wish your own well being, radiate in metta towards yourself. Now start radiating metta towards others, wishing their well being and happiness. Start with your loved ones. Now think of their well-being, just as you think of your own well-being. And radiate your thoughts of loving kindness, thoughts of metta, unconditional love towards them, wishing their well-being and happiness and their good health and protection. May my loved ones, my parents, my children, my spouse, relatives, be free from anger. May they be free from ill will. May they be free from enmity. May they be well, happy, and peaceful. And now radiate your metta towards others, those who are friendly, friendly to you, friendly with you. Radiate in your loving kindness towards them, wish their well being and happiness. May everyone friendly to me be free from anger. May they be free from ill will. May they be free from enmity. May they be well, happy, and peaceful. And now radiate your metta towards your other fellow meditators. There are lots of people meditating together with yourself, joining you. So think of their well-being and radiate your thoughts of loving kindness towards them. 
May everyone meditating with me be free from anger. May they be free from ill will. May they be free from enmity. May they be well, happy, and peaceful. Now, radiate your metta towards unfriendly people, whether you are aware of anybody or not. Radiate your metta, your loving kindness towards unfriendly people, if there are any, wishing their well-being and happiness too. May everyone unfriendly to me be free from anger, May they be free from ill will. May they be free from enmity. May they be well, happy, and peaceful. And now think of all human beings, all people living in this country and living in this world, wherever. Radiate your metta, your thoughts of love and kindness towards them, wishing their well being, happiness, protection, good health. May all human beings, all people, living all over this world. Be free from anger. May they be free from ill will. May they be free from enmity. May they be well, happy, and peaceful. Now think of non-human beings, other beings, other living beings. Those living beings living in this earth, on this earth or anywhere in this universe, those seen or unseen, dwelling far or near, those who are born or to be born, radiate your metta, your thoughts of loving kindness towards this entire universe, wishing everyone's, all living beings, well-being, happiness, protection. May all living beings, living on this earth or in this universe, may they be free from anger, may they be free from ill will, may they be free from enmity, May they be well, happy, and peaceful. Keep generating metta in your mind, loving kindness in your mind, and also radiating your loving kindness towards yourself first, and then your loved ones, those people who are known to you, those people who are joining you in this meditation session, and those people who are living in this country and in this world, and also all living beings, wherever they may be, equally wishing the well being and happiness, just as you wish your own well being and happiness. And keep your mind full of metta, full of loving kindness towards anyone, all living being.
May I be free from anger. May I be free from ill will. May I be free from enmity. May I be well, happy, and peaceful. May all living beings be free from anger. May they be free from ill will. May they be free from enmity. May they be free from suffering. May they be free from difficulties and problems. And may they be well. May they be peaceful and may they be happy. With your mind full of metta, loving kindness, thoughts of unconditional love towards yourself and towards others. Let us now conclude our meditation on metta. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And with that session on metta, we conclude and we stop, uh, we end our meditation. And next few minutes, if you have any questions, you can ask, you can speak and ask, or you can send them as a chat message uh, on Zoom if you wish. So, and also, uh, I would like to uh, tell you that uh, if you uh, would like to read. Uh, further about meditation, there are some information available on our website, www.landonbuddhistvihara.org. So go to our website and there are um, uh, things, articles for you to read about meditation and other uh, uh, teachings related to Buddhism. So if you wish, you can do that. So, and uh, so with this session, we are going to uh, conclude the meditation session. So before that, um, now if uh, this question is asked, why do we meditate? Why do you meditate? So the an answer would be, there would be different many answers. So answer would be again the question, why do we need um, peace, particularly peace of mind? So that is why we meditate. We need peace, we need peace of mind. So that's why we meditate, to gain this peace, to have this peace, peace of mind. And this peace of mind is pretty much dependent on many different things. It is dependent upon the way you think, the way you uh, understand and realize things, and the way you uh, react to things which are happening around you and the way you um, uh, and how you uh, control your own thoughts and emotions. So all these things contribute to uh, peace of mind. Or in other words, the peace of mind is controlled or influenced by all these things, how you, can, how, how you react to things which are happening in your life and how you understand or how you look at things uh, and how you realize and understand things. So all these things contribute. So by your meditation, you can control all these things and by which you can um, have or gain the peace of mind. So that is why we meditate. We need peace of mind, so we, we need meditation. So the main object the main objective of meditation is to gain this peace of mind amongst many other things. You will gain lots of many different things, but mainly peace of mind. We need peace of mind, so we need meditation. So if this question is asked, why do we meditate? Why do we need peace? If we need peace, we need meditation. So that is the simple answer for this uh, question. So that is something for you to uh, contemplate till we meet next week. So next week at the same time, seven o'clock, uh, join us for this meditation. We will be doing the same thing and um, 
in the meantime if you if you wish to read about meditation now you know at the time you were able to come and uh, join meditation personally here at the vihara there are there are lots of books that you can take away but it can't be done now so you can read something online if you wish okay so i wish you all a pleasant and very good night and see you all uh, next week till then have a good care of yourself may you all be well happy and peaceful thank, thank you, you thank 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 you th